The question is, is how has AMP changed the way that I teach my students? And it has changed greatly because I am more hands-on with them. I don't lecture as much as I used to anymore. Um, we're not doing as many worksheets. It's more of a hands-on group learning experience. I find that kids have a way of teaching each other things a little bit easier than I could actually teach them. And uh, we're not memorizing formulas. So it's no longer a formula behind the math, but a deeper understanding of why it is what it is. And math, it's the authority. I mean, it's a correct answer. And you'll know when you get it. And that's how AMP has really changed the way that I teach. Yeah, AMP actually focuses more on conceptual understanding than in traditional math. I remember teaching, um, I started teaching in 99, and back then it was all out of a math textbook, and it was trying to just memorize your math facts and just understanding procedures. And now with AMP, they're really trying to stress the reason behind things. Um, for example, today I had my kids dividing with fractions and they could do the traditional method, but once I had them draw a picture, it was a lot more difficult. So it's trying to get the kids to understand why some of the shortcuts were, how to be a more efficient mathematicians, and to really be able to critique and explain their mathematical methods, not just to me, but to their classmates. Probably test. Probably test, because test, I really have to think about what I'm answering, and if I get it wrong, it kind of affects my grade, you know, I got to get A's, straight A student. So, yeah, that's about it. Our, my math teacher, Ms. Brown, she sometimes helps us review the question, and she helps us, like, not to tell us the answer, but to help us try to figure out the answer, and we do, like, little pre-test, like practice test before we actually started. But yeah. AMP camp. Oh my gosh. AMP camp was amazing. I had so much fun. We had to do like a problem where it was six ships leaving from two ports in the USA and how many times they would cross each other's path. The robots, you had to do a math equation to figure out how to do them. Like so like, make like, 3.5 degrees turning left, and you had to figure out how your robot worked, because each robot was different. Mine and Phoebe's, we were both Percy Jackson fans, so we named our robot Buford. Math is important, you use it in every day, but when are we gonna use this really complicated stuff? And using the robots, I like realized, oh man, this is people's jobs. Like, you can actually use this in your life, and that's just amazing. I love it so much. AMP helps <laughs> students become stronger problem solvers. Students are not scared to present or critique their work on the board, and the mathematical practices have become a culture in our classroom. The things that we use at school right now in math, we could use them in my class now or in high school. And things that we learn is like, uh, we do givens and goals. I learned that last year and this year uh, to help me really process the questions that we get asked. And it kind of helps you during tests too. And so the strategies that we use, we can use them in eighth grade or in high school. AMP really helps our teachers with the instructional shifts that are required of um, the state testing um, and the types of tasks that students are required to do for the AC Merit. Although FK8 has pockets of teachers that have been trained through AMP, we're very, very excited to have the full support of their entire staff join the rest of the district and being AMP trained. <laughs>